Happy to have you with us on this wintry evening. I'm Laurel Staples. Hope you're warm, safe, and comfortable inside while outside a winter storm ranges, rages a kicking and kicking off our comprehensive coverage of the storm. We first go to meteorologist Adam Bell. Adam. Well, thanks, Laurel. I am here live at the 19th interchange just on the west end of Bozeman. As you can see behind me, I-90. Cars are traveling, but it's a slow go for the evening hours tonight as we have snow on the roadway underneath a sheet of ice, and it's been treacherous travel all day long. I just got off the phone with the Montana Highway Patrol. Sergeant Pat McCarthy told me that he's responded to over dozens of incidents over the last couple of hours alone across much of southwest Montana due to these tough driving conditions. Most of those incidents, though, are relatively minor, but still, it does make traveling tough. We have team coverage, though, from both Homestake Pass and Bozeman Pass. The news stations Travis Clark and John Shear were up there earlier today in the light to give us the story. Thanks, Adam. Driving up through Homestake Pass, I really got a chance to see how the storm is picking up. Wind is really starting to get strong and the snowfall is really starting to get thick, so be careful out there. And, and the storm has already really affected the mining city. When I contacted Highway Patrol, all officers were already dealing with slide-offs or minor accidents. I, I asked them if there were any tips they could pass along, and, and they did mention that during a winter storm like this, it, it's always best to drive well below the speed limit. But more importantly, with all the projected snow that will be coming in tonight, the Highway Patrol was very adamant about what you should do if you become stuck or trapped in your car. Uh, some tips they gave were to stay in your vehicle. Uh, don't leave and search for help. It's, it's easy to become disoriented or lost in the blowing and drifting snow. Run your engine for about 10 minutes each hour. Run the heater and turn on the dome light only when the vehicle is running. You want to save that battery and gas. Uh, don't stay in one position too long. Clap your hands, move your arms, move your legs occasionally. Never stay stagnant. Always try and stay as insulated as possible, whether you need to use newspapers or maps or, or even your car mats on the floor. And, and if you're with someone, Huddle up, buddy-buddy system, stay warm. So try and keep those tips in mind if, if an accident occurs and you're stuck in your car. Now, let's head about another 90 miles east of the divide and see how the weather conditions are in Bozeman with John Shear. John hey, thanks, Travis. As you can see, we have plenty of snow here, too. But east of the divide, the story is as much ice as it is snow. Back around noon as I was driving around, the temperature was about 32 degrees and the roads were mostly wet. Now, take a look at this. The temperature has dropped 10 degrees already and that's turning all of that water into ice. Let me show you, take a look here. Now the snow is swirling around me and it's starting to accumulate on the roads. Take a look at what you're driving on. As you scrape away the snow, you see underneath this layer of ice makes the roads like a skating rink. And this is the big challenge for drivers today. The State Patrol and the Department of Transportation are both listing the interstate from Three Forks out to here as snow-covered, icy, and slippery. They're urging extreme caution. I'm John Shearer in Bozeman Pass. Let's toss it back to Adam at the rest area. Well, as, as John said, corrosion conditions are definitely going to get worse as we go into the evening hours tonight. As we're going to get everything that was liquid earlier in the day today, definitely going to turn over to a sheet of ice. But it has been tough travel, not only for the evening hours tonight, but it's already been that way for most of southwest Montana over the last several hours. And I'm joined now by um, Gallatin County Sheriff Deputy Brad Hickok. Thanks for joining us. I know you guys are real busy today. I really appreciate you coming down to talk to us. What have you seen so far in terms of road conditions and how travelers are handling it so far? You know, as you've already said, we'd ha we've had dozens of slide offs. Most of those have been pretty minor, no major crashes, but uh, just a couple of things um, to keep in mind. Uh, the roads are very slick. If you don't have to go anywhere, stay at home. Um, but if you do have to go, make sure and drive slowly. Keep a safe distance between your car and the one in front of you and um, take care as you go. Give yourself extra time. Now, do you recommend that um, people pack something of an emergency kit in case they do go out and get stuck in the snow and you guys aren't able to help right away? Absolutely. That's something you should have in your car already. And if not, uh, just throw a couple of blankets in there, maybe some granola bars, some water, something like that. Make sure you have your cell phones with you so you can call for help and we'll be there in short order. Um, now, do you guys anticipate having another busy night tonight all the way into the evening hours? I mean, I know you're going to be available 24-7, correct? Uh, yeah, absolutely. We're always available 24-7. You can expect to, to see us. It just might take us a little bit longer to get there tonight. 
Now, how many patrolmen do you guys have out there right now, or, or how many do you expect to have for the rest of the evening hours? As far as Gallatin County, I'm not sure how many highway patrolmen are out, but uh, deputies will have probably around a half dozen out or so, um, and going from one slide off to the next, just hopefully uh, nothing major happens, and um, like I said, we haven't had any bad crashes, and we anticipate traffic to slow down and things to slow down as the night goes on. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I know, like I said, it's a busy night for you, and I really appreciate your time. And uh, that is what we've got right here. So definitely take your time if you do have to go out. And as recommended, if you don't have to travel, it's definitely not re recommended tonight. Reporting live from 19th and I-90, I'm Adam Bell from Montana's News Station. Thank you, Adam.